Hey guys, it's Darby with Blue Television Games here. I'm going to show you some various glitches I've found throughout uh, YouTube, uh, some that I've stumbled on on my own, and some that you guys have sent me and told me about. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video that just puts a ton of the glitches uh, all in one video, so it's a little easier for you to find. I'll try to mark where each one starts um, in the comments. That way you can skip ahead to ones you don't know about. And let's go ahead and get started with this first one here. Okay, now the configuration I have here is a vine and another vine. Okay, then you're going to need some solid blocks. Kind of build them around the vines just like that. And let's go ahead and move that down a little so it's easier to get to. Now you're going to cover up the vine with some breakable bricks. I believe to do this glitch you have to have a, uh, an amiibo costume on. You have to be able to break bricks and you have to be small. So I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit play. I'm going to show you how this works. So when you jump up and you break the bricks, when you go to the top and you hit the solid uh, block, if you try to walk to the left you'll just fall out. Um, but if you walk to the right, you'll actually step out and go over the, bro uh, the brick at the top. So you could pretty easily uh, make a level where there's nowhere to go and you have to sneak past this block. Uh, you know, it'd be kind of evil because it's a glitch, but uh, if you're into that kind of thing, which some of you seem to be, uh, let's show you over here with the one I just made. Um, break a couple bricks, climb to the top, head to the right, and you go right over. So that's it. That's a, uh, a glitch where you can go through a solid block because of the vines that are behind uh, the bricks, I'm assuming. So you can uh, climb over there. All right, this next glitch here is a glitch that only works in Super Mario World. And it, what it does is it makes you jump super high, higher than you ever normally could. So let's uh, jump on this trampoline here. That's the highest you can jump normally. Now, see this door over here to the exit? It is up here. How the hell can you jump that high? You need to grab an item. Like I said, it's got this has got to be in Super Mario World to work. It has to be in Super Mario World to work, I should say. What you do is you, uh, you have the run button held in as you're holding the shell. Jump on the trampoline and just keep holding the jump button. Now if you look left then right real quick, you jump super high. That's all you have to do. So, let's try this again. Run over, pick up the shell, keep holding the run button, jump on the trampoline, and once you're on the trampoline, keep holding the jump button. And all you have to do is look back and forth really fast, hit left then right. I'll show you again. So I'm looking towards the right here. Now I'm looking towards the left, okay. I'm looking towards the right. Hit left, right. Just keep basically looking, uh, hitting back and forth, one direction to the other. You only have to do it once, but you have to do it just right. And you'll jump super high. So once again, jump on the trampoline, right, left, jump super high, go through the door, Beat the impossible stage with a super high jump. Once again, only works in Super Mario World, but a very cool glitch. Alright, so this next glitch, uh, so far, I don't think anyone's found a real use for it, but it's still kind of interesting here. So if you take your 30th anniversary Mario amiibo, and you tap it onto the gamepad, it'll bring in the mushroom as usual. And as many of you know, if you switched it to, let's say, New Super Mario Bros. U, Mushroom disappears. Now, here's where the glitch comes in. For whatever reason, let's put that mushroom back in by tapping your amiibo on the gamepad. If you put the mushroom back here at the start, and then you switch to a different game, it stays in. So, if I hit play now, we have the 30th anniversary uh, Mario Amiibos mushroom there, still in the 8-bit style. 
But the part of the glitch that is kind of disappointing is when you collect the mushroom, it actually doesn't do anything. Still kind of interesting. Um, you can switch it to, um, you know, Mario. Let's see here. Let's do Mario World. Same thing. Collect it. It doesn't do anything. Once you get it in here too, it seems like you can move it around. Um, and it actually will stay. I believe you can uh, give it wings even. And notice it's still in here. I don't know if you can put it in a pipe or not. Let's try that. So it's for now it's a cool way to surprise someone like, Hey, check it out. There's giant flying mushrooms that don't belong in here. Kind of way to throw people off. This is actually a cool glitch too because it doesn't break the game really. It just could be a cosmetic thing. So there you have it. This is how you get the 30th anniversary Mario Mushroom in all game styles. This one's pretty fun and like I said, won't break your levels. So this would be a fun one to see some uh, cool level aesthetics with. So, All right guys, I've shown you this glitch before but I'll show it again just since I'm doing a bunch of glitches in this video. This is the invisible block or platform glitch, however you want to call it. Take an invisible block, a track, and a cloud. You drag the uh, visible block onto the track. Then you grab the track and the block together. If you grab the block like that, keep trying till you get both. This is key. You drag both these over the cloud together at the same time. You don't select them with the multi-select tool. You just gotta grab it just right. You put it over there. Reselect the track piece, go from left to right. Cloud is dis has disappeared. The cloud now looks like an invisible block, which is why it gives the illusion that you're jumping on an invisible platform. Alright, for this next glitch, it's the invincibility glitch. Most of you know this one already, but I'll go ahead and include it in the video. So, I'm not sure if it works with the cape, but I'm going to try it with the flower here. So I made a, uh, a door that puts you under these spikes. Now when you hit these spikes, you'll start flashing. You'll be invincible for a few seconds. And as usual, if you stand there long enough, you'll take a, a second hit and you'll turn into Small Mario. What you want to do is you want to enter this door again right before you turn to Small Mario. That way you're not, you're still Super Mario. And if you do it correctly, uh, you will become invincible. So let's try this. Alright, I'm going to pick up the flower, go through this door, take the hit, I'll start flashing. Go back through the door right before you get the next hit and you should be invincible. And as you can see, these Hammer Brothers, I can jump on them, but they can't hurt me. Um, I can get up in his face, I can walk through him. I am now invincible. Uh, a lot of people already know this glitch, but it's still pretty fun if you haven't seen it. All right, this next glitch is kind of pointless. If you want to mess with it, you can, but you have to reset your Wii U. It's the freeze glitch. Um, what you want to do is here is um, you have two pipes, so. You make two pipes, you put one here and you'll drag Mario onto it. And it'll take you to a sub-world. Okay, then you'll put Mario in this pipe up here. And then you'll place the exit pipe right here. Um, like so. I already did it so it looked a little different, but basic idea is you want a pipe that you go down. That takes you to this exit. And you want, when you jump up to this pipe, it takes you to the top exit. Alright, so let's test this out real quick. And go up. And walk off the top and over. Everything works fine. If I jump, you know, it'll give me a little bit of screen there to fall down. Okay, and I put these cheap cheeps here for a reason. It'll help with the glitch. So if I change the sub area to water, this is where the glitch occurs. When you come out of the pipe underwater, if, if you don't put above this dark line here that Mario's running across, in a water level, when you swim to the top, the uh, level will stop. That way you don't have to put blocks all across the top on a water level. However, you put the pipe there, when you come out of the pipe, you're not going to be able to come out because underwater levels, they count this as the top of the screen if nothing's above it. So I'll show you how it messes up here. So if I take the pipe down, it works as it should. There's the cheap cheap swimming by. Notice I can't swim up. 
because it thinks that's the top of the stage, since it's a water level, nothing's above it. Now, if I go up, my game is going to freeze. The only thing I'll be able to do is get the hand to appear on the screen. Let's uh, pick a hand here real quick. Uh, let's go with the classy cat paw. All right, I'm gonna jump through this pipe, and when I do, Mario will not spawn. The cheap cheeps, they're not swimming now. Notice the music's still playing. I can bring up my cat paw here. If I click on edit, it doesn't do anything. If I hit on back, it doesn't do anything. Start, A, B, click the sticks. Um, nothing works. So the only option now is to reset your Wii U. This glitch is more of a, hey, don't put a pipe like this if you're going to do an underwater level. Make sure there's uh, it's either above that dark line so it'll spawn above. Or put the pipe down a little so that Mario has a place to come out. Alright, and here's a little glitch that uh, makes Bowser stomp the clouds non-stop. This could be a cosmetic glitch you could use in one of your levels if you wanted to. Just kind of makes Bowser look crazy. Uh, you'll want to take some little conveyor belts, have them facing each other as far as the arrows go. And you'll want to leave two spaces in the middle. I made a little uh, ground through here for the heck of it. Now you'll drag these skulls on so that there's two skulls where those two blocks are open right there. I put some blocks here to kind of keep Bowser where I want him. And this I'll drag over here so that when he falls on these uh, skulls he'll kind of bounce off that uh, conveyor belt up there. This is what it looks like when you do it right. And there you go. Bowser just non-stop jumping, falling, stomping, whatever you want to call it. And he doesn't shoot any fireballs either, so if you jump up, his head will go up and down. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So you can kind of make him head bob if you want to. A uh, funny little glitch, nothing too crazy. But uh, if you want to mess around with Bowser and make him look nuts, that's a good way to do it. Alright, for this final glitch in this video, I am going to show you how you can get infinite coins with Yoshi. To do this you need some blue skulls on a circle track and you need a coin to be in the middle of the track somewhere. Somewhere where uh, Yoshi is able to lick just under the coin. So I hit play here, I'll jump on Yoshi. It helps to be on the very edge of this blue skull. Alright, so I didn't do it right that time. Let's try it again. Once you get the timing, it's really easy. So, as you can see, I'm getting coins. I'm eating just before I get around to the coin. The coin's staying there, but I'm collecting coins consistently now. Something about this animation with Yoshi, it just glitches. It, it gives you the coin even though the coin remains there. can do this until we get 100 coins and get an extra life. If you see if you eat it uh, too slow, you'll actually eat the coin and it'll disappear. But kind of a neat little glitch. Something you could mess with. Alright, well that'll conclude the glitches for this video. As new ones come out, I'll try to uh, make more videos. But hopefully you enjoyed this if you're into that sort of thing. It seems like a lot of my viewers like the uh, glitches, so there you go.